So I wanted to create this video on the mechanism of why menopause can make someone fat, okay? Okay, so let's start with the ovaries. The ovaries make several hormones, two being estrogen and progesterone. Now, when you go through menopause at age 52, sometimes it's earlier, sometimes it's later, uh, you basically stop releasing eggs, okay? So an average woman releases 400 eggs. And after that last one, it's done, right? So we go through this menopause. So they're going in retirement. Now, even though both of these hormones decrease, the ratio of estrogen is still much higher than progesterone, leaving someone in a state of estrogen dominance. The estrogen dominance will trigger another hormone up in the brain, hypothalamus, okay? stands for corticotrophin releasing hormone, okay, which basically is a hormone that communicates to the pituitary, another hormone called ACTH, which then talks to the adrenal. So we kind of, if you think about it like this, you have the owner of the football team, that's the hypothalamus, then you have the coach, which is the pituitary, and then you have the quarterback, which is the adrenals, okay? So basically you have just the three levels of communication, you don't really need to know that. All you need to know is that when you have higher amounts of estrogen, and even when you take birth control pills or are doing hormone replacement therapy or exposed to too much estrogen from the environment, you're gonna trigger more cortisol. And cortisol is the main hormone that creates the problem. And by the way, your own fat, if you have too much of it, can also make cortisol. So excess cortisol is very catabolic, which means it breaks down muscle tissue. It's very destructive to your muscles. And it's gonna break down the muscle tissue and turn that into glucose, sugar, which then is converted through insulin to fat. And this is why women that go through menopause end up with a lot of atrophy, loss of muscle, and fat. And in their minds, they think this is all just excess fat, when in fact it's a combination of loss of muscle and fat. So when they do a program, a lot of times they get frustrated when they stop losing weight. That's because what looks like fat is really atrophy. So what they need to do is restore the atrophy, okay? And number two, they need to deal with the actual fat. But I think what's most importantly is to address the adrenal. Now, this video is just on the mechanism. I put some links down below on what to do to support the healthy adrenals and what to do for muscle loss. So click the link below and check out the second part. So we've been getting a lot of success stories, but I don't have your success story yet. So click the link down below and upload your before and after. I wanna actually hear about your success story. I wanna see your before and afters. And every week we do featured success stories. So click the link down below and share your success.